why do we need progress reports? For three reasons. The first reason is for progress monitoring. It's a contractual requirement and for records as well. Let's go one by one. Progress monitoring, periodic assessment of the progress status, how you are performing over time in the project, because it doesn't make sense that you will wait until the project end and see where you are. You need some alarms, you need to see where you are going because it will help you develop recovery actions and take the recovery plan uh, as well. For recovery measures, it is not enough to report that you are in delay, but how you act on it. Identify causes of delay and risk. You know that the overall project is in delay by one month, but what is causing the delay? Maybe you are performing very well in the concrete, but you have disaster in block work. Maybe you are not in delay yet in pain to work, but there is a risk that this activity will be in delay. For example, you placed the procurement order for paint material very late, and it's a long lead item, which will take two months to deliver. The paint activities are not in delay yet, but there is a high risk that it will be in delay. You need to identify that and act accordingly. It is a contractual requirement. In modern contracts, you will see the list of requirements. Maybe you will need a progress curve, KPIs, how often you need to submit, like the frequency of submissions. Do you need daily report, weekly or bi-weekly, monthly, quarter? But in many projects, they will need daily, weekly, and monthly. For small projects, you will have maybe bi-weekly instead of weekly, the records. And it is something not many people think about. They always prepare the progress report because it's a part of the contract. Yes, the contract will require me to do specific tasks. I'm going to do it. And that's it. I don't bother about anything else. But one core reason for why we need progress report is records. Progress reports are designed to have a snapshot of the current progress. At any point of time throughout the project life cycle, it is very important to take a snapshot of everything, snapshot of engineering performance. Procurement, construction, you can have different forms like site photos with data stamp to record the snapshot. Maybe you wanna record available manpower on site and the machinery, how many excavators you have, how many manpower you have. And for many people, they don't understand the importance. Why would I bother? Well, you know, I just care. Right now, six months have been elapsed since the project start. I am now ahead of a schedule. It doesn't make sense to me why I did the progress reports on a weekly basis. Right now, I am ahead of a schedule. I do not care about anything else. Some people think like that. But the snapshot is very, very important for extension of time claims, for example. So maybe right now, after one year from the project start, you have a specific progress status and many parties contributed to the current progress status. The contractor was in delay for some activities. The consultant delayed the approval for some activities. The client delayed the nomination. There are many things going on. What you see right now is the contractor is doing pain to work. Okay, that's it. That's what you see right now. But it is important to record what is going on on a weekly basis and a snapshot of everything happened over time. So maybe you are doing the pain to work right now, but you should have completed all pain to work, which means you are in delay. But a snapshot will help you identify the parties responsible for the delay. So for example, one month ago, I wasn't able to start to paint to work because the engineer could not finalize his selection of the material type, for example. So there are many things going on here. One main reason is records. You want a snapshot of everything, not only progress of construction, but engineering performance, procurement, and all other elements.